us. Your treehouse looks spectacular with all those colors. It must have taken forever to repaint it all. <laughs> Thanks, Peck. And it didn't take long at all. With my awesome paint blaster, Alpha and I got the job done real fast. <laughs> you know what? My lab could actually use a new paint job. What do you think if we use your paint blaster? Oh yeah! I'll grab my paint blaster and we'll get straight to work. Hey, where did my paint blaster go? Give me that yummy gummy. I'm Gus the Gummy Gator. I can't find my paint blaster. It was just here a second ago. Huh? <laughs> oh god. The paint blaster is all mine. This town won't know what hit it. <laughs> oh no! Gustav took my paint blaster! And now he's changing the color of all the street signs! Heck, what do I do? I'm glad you asked, Gus. There's nothing that my peck tech can't handle. We can use this water blaster to wash off all the paint Gustav blast on the street signs. Wow, Peck! You really do have something for every situation! Where do you keep all these gadgets anyway? A good scientist never reveals his secrets! Now let's get moving! Gustav's got wheels, but we've got webbed feet! We better hurry and fix the color of the street signs! People are going to be so confused! That's true, Gus. But the shape of the sign is really important, too. Both the shape and the color of the street signs matter. And stop signs are the only ones that use the octagon shape, making them the most recognizable of all. That's really interesting, Peck. Now that I think about it, I don't even remember what the color of a stop sign is. Hey, little gators. Do you remember what the color is? Stop signs are red. Yeah, they're red, Gus. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right, little gators. Stop signs are red. Now let's get this yellow paint off. Great work, Gus. Now the stop sign will continue doing its important job of keeping everyone safe. <laughs> huh? Oh god. Oh no, it looks like Gustav is still at it. Let's go. I think I see another painted sign down the street. Hurry, Peck! This way! We need to look both ways before crossing the street. Okay, we're all clear. Hey, this sign is covered with purple paint, so we can't see what it's for. Does this shape mean anything to you, Peck? Good observation, Gus. Pentagon street signs mean that you're in a school zone and to be careful about people walking in the area. Oh my gummies! I need to clean this paint up quick! Schools are inside, they're super important too! Huh? I didn't think it would be yellow. That's so cool! Well, Gus, yellow signs are a warning to drivers and people walking about the surrounding area. So I'd say it makes perfect sense since we're in a school zone. <laughs> <laughs> Silly Gator, you won't mess up my plans this time. Oh god! Come on, Peck! Let's go before we lose him again! Look, Peck! That sign is covered in paint too! Gustav must have definitely passed through here! Hey, this sign is rectangular shaped! I bet this sign is also important, but I can't think of why! Excellent observation, Gus. You're right. Rectangular shaped signs inform drivers about important changes on the road. We better clean up the sign quickly. We wouldn't want any people going the wrong way and causing a collision. You're totally right, Peck. I'll clean this sign up right now. Woohoo! Nice going, Gus. You restored the sign back to its original colors black and white. Ah. Why are you two interfering with my work? Can't you see you're destroying my artistic vision? Oh gosh, Gustav is driving on the wrong side of the road! Gustav, 
You shouldn't be changing the color of street signs. Don't you know people depend on them for safety? Also, you stole my paint blaster, and that's not nice! <laughs> Silly Gator, did you forget? I am a super villain. Rules don't apply to me. Just for that, I'm going to teach you a lesson for getting in the way of my evil vision. <laughs> oh gosh! You gummy gator, I'll get it next. Wow, that was some really quick thinking, Gus. You saved us. Oh, it was nothing. That'll teach Gustav a lesson for driving on the wrong side of the road. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Peck, we got the paint blaster back. Now we can paint your lab. Yay! Oh, boy! Wow, little gators. We had quite the adventure today, didn't we? I wanted to show Peck my new paint blaster, but then Gustav snuck in and stole it without us noticing. Then we heard some noises coming from down the street, and we saw Gustav changing the color of the stop sign. Luckily for us, Peck brought along his new Peck Tech, a water blaster. We used this to wash the stop sign. That's right, Gus. We learned that stop signs are important, red, and octagon shaped. The shape helps explain the meaning. We found a school crossing sign that was painted purple, and we washed it off to make it yellow again. Then we learned that school crossing signs are pentagon shaped, which means you have to be extra careful with people around. Right again, Gus. Lastly, we found the one-way sign that was covered in orange paint. We used the water blaster to clean it right off. One-way signs are rectangular shaped and are useful because they tell drivers of important traffic rules. Then Gustav showed up and got mad at us for cleaning up all the signs. We told him it's not nice to paint over traffic signs. Then he drove the wrong way down the street. But luckily, I was able to think on my feet and I sprayed the ground with water, which caused Gustav's car to slide out of control. And the fire hydrant sprayed him away. Then the paint blaster fell from the sky, and we got it back. Hey, Peck, which part of the lab should we paint first? Ooh, we should definitely redo the walls. This place needs way more color. <laughs> Looking good. We're going to give Peck's lab a makeover, little gators. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.